The Scream by Edvard Munch, is one of the most iconic paintings in art history. But do you know what's behind it? Is there any relation with Munch's sexuality? Did Munch's mental disorder, have an influence on this masterpiece? Let's discover it. The screen, represents a person without gender. This has a possible explanation, if we look at Munch's unconscious. He suffered from significant mental disorders, caused by the terrific number of tragedies, experienced in his infancy. The painting, was inspired by a sort of hallucination, a severe anxiety crisis, as described by Munch himself, in his diary. One evening, I was walking along a path, the city was on one side, and the fjord below. I felt tired and ill. I stopped and looked out over the fjord dash. The sun was setting, and the clouds turning blood red. I sensed a scream, passing through nature, it seemed to me that I heard the scream. I painted this picture, painted the clouds, as actual blood. The color shrieked. This became, the scream. Probably, the scream he heard, was the terror caused by a temporary explosion of thoughts and emotions, which were hidden in his unconscious. The despair for the premature loss of his mother, when he was only five years old, came to his consciousness as a scream, overcoming the defensive censorship. Here, we find the explanation of why the person screaming, is represented without gender. During such a crisis, the libido is almost blocked, the fear takes all the scene, deleting temporarily, the sexual identity. The mysteries behind the screen, are the mysteries of Monk's personality. The demons, hidden in the deep of himself. This masterpiece, was inspired by a temporary mental illness. Then, the healthy side of his mind, with his painting technique, with his figurative culture, was able to express the vision, caused by the hallucination, and the anxiety status. The greatness of Munch, was to represent his own anguish, in such an effective way, to become the icon, of contemporary society's inquietude. 